And what I love about it is that it's not just based on sort of a 125 mile range from an electric battery. It does have a big electric battery, uh, but it has a fuel cell that will allow you to extend that range. So some sort of fossil fuel. They were really tight lipped on what kind of fuel that is, but they said it's not gasoline and it's not electric. Is it hydrogen? I don't know. Could be propane possibly, whatever it is, it's going to allow the vehicle to extend that battery range when you need it to up to 300 miles. You've got totally electronic dash. Uh, so you don't side, even have an actual side mirror. Right, the majority yeah. of it is for aerodynamic, but the oh, other piece yeah. that this does cool. is it really keeps that driver's focus on the road, right? So they're really not having to look all the way up and look at different Yeah, things. you're much closer. Much closer. Yeah, yeah. Um, in a production standpoint, those actually have to get larger. Okay. okay, but really for all intents and purposes, that's the style. It's also got the integrated rear camera, um, and this is a rear view camera. So it's not just a backup camera, it's not just uh, a, you know, for that parking aspect, for when you're but it's actually for driving. So you can see oncoming traffic, everything else. So there's no more panels of, okay, I've got to open this cabinet to turn on these three things. I have to go over here to turn on those three things. This is purely uh, fully, uh, integrated solution, so slide systems, steps, so on and so forth, all controlled through the single point yeah, control. Yeah. Alexa, show me the power view. Okay. So we're also trying to take advantage of the large format of the TV, okay? So, you know, the intent is to really have that all-encompassing experience for the consumer. So a combination of voice, the digital aspects, the ability of doing a lot of your planning and trips directly on the phone. Now I can do things like entertainment mode or shower mode, and shower mode turns on my water pump, turns on my water heater, you know, okay. dims, dims my glass so I have privacy. Actual bamboo and cork pouring, okay. Uh, the countertop is comprised of a cork pour, or I'm sorry, bamboo cork, and then the surfaces are recycled paper. Uh, the sofa, the cushions, that's 100% recycled material. And then obviously we're trying to take advantage of some natural light, right? Not having all of those devices up on the roof really opens up a new experience for the interior. I love the idea that now with electric vehicles, you can sort of reimagine an RV from the ground up. Yeah. yeah, instead of having to start with something else. A absolutely, batteries are really big and they're heavy, right? And so a lot of that traditional real estate inside of the frame rails we lose where we would put tanks and do things like that. So a lot of those con a lot of that content had to move outward, right? Uh, which means that all that below floor storage that you used to have is also gone. Um, so we did some creative things in the back there uh, for a storage solution which is also happens to encapsulate all of our utilities that we took off the roof. Uh, they are all packaged in the upper compartment back there. Um, so the AC is there, we have powered vents. Um, so there's a vent in the bathroom, there's a vent here in the kitchen. We also do our uh, tank venting out the back there as well. We have below floor storage as well. Um, so those are, you know, if you have muddy boots or things of that nature, I may be into mountain biking, I may be into fishing. I can configure this any way I want in order to uh, have my experience that I have. And you can grab the hooks and stuff from Home Depot. Absolutely. A lot of the innovations they've put into this vehicle can filter out to all sorts of other RVs that Thor companies make. Thor is the largest RV manufacturer in the world with lots of different subsidiaries and they can take all the innovations they put into this and put them into all sorts of even gas or diesel powered RVs. You'll notice there's absolutely nothing on the roof. The roof line is clear and the reason they did that was for aerodynamics. They wind tunnel tested this thing. They made sure they could get it as aerodynamic as possible. Even removing the side view mirrors and they put cameras on little sticks so that you get an image of a side view mirror inside on little screens just for aerodynamics. All of the air conditioner, the heater, uh, all that sort of stuff is built into the wall. So in the past when we've seen like a an air conditioning unit on the roof of an RV, that's gone. When you've heard that giant blower fan uh, blowing air through a duct from a propane furnace, that's gone. Everything is electric on it except for that fuel cell. 
it's going to be really interesting. They say 2024, possibly, they'll be putting something out really on the market like this, but really this is a concept vehicle, meaning this vehicle is not gonna be sold. The intellectual property that they're building out of this vehicle is going to filter out to Thor's other brands. So brands like Jayco and Airstream uh, and Erwin Heimer Group and Tiffin will be able to put the technology that this working group has come up with into their units. And we might see several different electric RVs, including the one that was announced from uh, Winnebago yesterday, which is a competing company for Thor. So electric RVs aren't really ready for market right now, but they're definitely coming and they're definitely working.